Hello, Joel Kingsley here. This video, I want to talk, I want to talk about a topic which is central to the meaning of this month, the month of December, the month of Christmas. So, uh, if you look at the meaning of Christmas, Christmas is a day which is remembrance of the birth of Christ. And what does Christ mainly represent when it comes to this topic? topic of this, uh, if you look at the uh, title of the video, topic is things that are valuable are always given for free. When it comes to Christ, the main thing that we have received from Christ is that we have received salvation, which is a free gift. And this salvation, the Bible says in Ephesians 2.8, for by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves is the gift of God out of works, lest any man should boast. Given that salvation, which is the most important thing that any person can have in their entire life, even that is given for free. Secondly, I'm ju I just want to talk about things that are valuable, will always be given for free. And why is that? So if you look at the reason behind selling something for a big cost, for not giving something away for free. Main reason people do that is because the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. So people sell things for a cost. People sell things for a higher price. They want to make money from it. And well, this is true for many people. And this is true for, in fact, all of us love to have money right Every one of us like to be rich. Everybody wants to be a millionaire. And if you look at many businesses and startups today, they, the main idea behind starting a business and starting that entrepreneurship dream is to make money and to become rich. So, um, as a Christian, yeah, as a Christian, we will not take anything to heaven when we die. So if we are not going to take anything to heaven, why do we even bother to be a millionaire or a billionaire? Because I'm not saying that it's wrong to go ahead and have an income. Because you should, as a man, everybody has to go ahead and have an income and be able to support yourself. But when it comes to becoming rich, having a surplus, why do we even bother? Because we are not going to take anything to heaven. It's as dust. It's as uh, something which rots the Bible says. So the main uh, thing that we have to have in mind when it comes to living a life with purpose, when it comes to living a life that gives us fulfillment, is to live a life that provides value to others, which inspires others, which uh, helps others in many cases. At this time, I also want to talk about a quote that many entrepreneurs and many people in the entrepreneur circle they talk about and this quote is that don't give things for free if you can make money from it and I just like to also quote from the Bible about this issue the Bible says freely you have received freely give so those things are both very opposite and on one hand it says that you have to that you just make money from things if you can make money from it. On the other hand, the Bible says that if you have received it for free, then go ahead and give it for free. But if you look at things that are really valuable, if you have something that is really, really valuable, then just go ahead and give it for free. Why do you want to go ahead and charge money for that? Why do you want to charge thousands or ten thousand and lakhs of rupees for that. If you just find it so much valuable and you want to share it, why do you want to go ahead and give it for cost? That's my question. And based on that, I want to talk about an issue that is very prevalent in this in today's uh, Christian music world. I'm talking about uh, a moment where people want to sell Christian music and that's their only business. That's their only life they have. Yes, I'm talking about uh, 
Christian singers like John Jabraj. I'm fed up of uh, Christian singers who go ahead and say that you can't, they have a copyright claim and they, you say, and they say that uh, you can't just go ahead and copy that music. You can't uh, re-upload that music, stuff like that. that. I find that really, that bothers me. Not because I just go ahead and make money from it. Not because I re-upload re videos. No. I'm saying, if you're doing stuff, if you're making Christian music for the glory of God, then why do you care where the money from the, from the music goes to? Why do you care whose bank that money goes to? Because if it's going to be for the glory of God, and if people are buying CDs from some other person, Who's getting the credit? Who's getting the money for the things that for the music that you created? And the CD description, the cover of the CD, it says John Jabraj. And, you, and you're going to go ahead and say, no, you can't do that. Why? I'm just saying why. If it's for the glory of God, then you say, wow, that's great, man. You're not buying from me, but you're buying from someone else. You're still listening to my music. That's great. That's the that's the response that I would have if I were if I were in that situation. And I find it meaningless. I, I find it stupid. And I just want to cover the last topic. And I'll I'll um, I would like to just cover the last point of this video. The point of this video, the crux of this video is not to say that you should not have an income and you should not have a high income. I'm just saying, just don't make Christian music, Christian stuff. Don't make the ministry a place of merchandise. The only place in the Bible where Jesus was so mad was place where the house of God was, became a place of merchandise, where people were selling stuff. And not just any stuff. They weren't selling secular stuff. All of the stuff that were, were sold that the, the church, the synagogue, in the Bible story, if you know the Bible story, all the things that were stole, sold there were spiritual stuff. The doves, the goats or the sheep, whatever, were there. All those were spiritual stuff. And God was mad about that. He turned around tables and he and he said, Don't make my don't make the house of my father a place of merchandise. He said. So if he said that, how come it changes now? How does it change now? Because you're making the ministry a place of merchandise, selling your stuff. How does it make sense, man? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if you believe that, and if you think that it hasn't changed, it hasn't changed any bit, he still, he still, he still feels the same way about this issue right now. So, just want to end this video with this quote: "Freely you have received, freely give." Anything that is valuable is given for free.